Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today I partnered with SeaTech to show you and review the SeaTech CS3 battery charger and maintainer. Let's go. SeaTech CS3 4-in-1 Smart Battery Charger and Maintainer was just named the 2022 Global Media Award winner at the 2022 SEMA show in Las Vegas. It was recognized for bringing significant value to customers worldwide with this technology. I'll leave a link to that article if you're interested in the video description below. Let's take a closer look at the unit itself. Here it is, reasonably lightweight, futuristic design, nice and sleek. We have our main LED here to show us how much charge time is left on the battery that we're trying to charge. We have the LED here that's going to show the current charge that the internal battery is at. Right now it's full, so it's fully illuminated, but it will show you in 25% increments on what your battery life is at. On one end, we have our charge output connector here. On the other end, we have the charge input for recharging the device. On the side though, because this is also a power bank, we have our USB-A and USB-C charging ports for your phone, your tablet, your laptop, something like that. It's also wall mountable if you decide you wanna pick up a wall mounting kit. So what is this and why is it different? Well, the CS3 is the world's first portable battery charger and maintainer. First, it has adaptive boost. You might also hear it called Smart Start, which is gonna be the best and smartest way to power up a flat battery in only 15 minutes. It can also be used as a portable battery charger and maintainer, like a trickle charger, without being plugged into the wall. And a really great feature, whether you have a traditional lead acid battery, an absorbent glass mat battery, AGM, or a lithium battery, you can use this to act as a battery charger or maintainer for any of those battery technologies. You don't have to use your lithium specific C-Tech battery maintainer and charger. You don't have to use your lead acid or AGM specific battery maintainer or charger. You can use this one device to rule them all. So now what I'm trying to say is when you plug this into the wall it becomes a traditional 12 volt C-Tech smart charger. So right now we're gonna demonstrate adaptive boost on this GMC Sierra. So you might be asking yourself, why use something fancy like this when I already have a booster at home, or I could just jumpstart it off somebody else's vehicle, or I could jumpstart it off a donor battery? Well, those are all ways that you can do it, but first, doing jumpstarting like that actually causes harm over time to the battery that's receiving that charge. You're slowly killing your battery. Also, you run the risk of connecting it wrong and shorting your battery out. Probably the biggest one for me is with these newer vehicles, and most of the vehicles today, there's so many sensitive electronics the last thing you want to do is send a huge surge of electricity into your system, putting those circuits at risk. So here we are under the hood of my truck and I've got my comfort indicator here that actually is blinking amber, which tells me that the battery is not at a full state of charge. So this is an opportune time to use our CS3. Although this is just a demonstration, I would typically use this if I knew the battery wasn't charged enough to start the vehicle especially like in these cold conditions that we have, or maybe I left something on and drained the battery. When I connect this, the microprocessor inside is going to analyze the battery. It's gonna figure out its current state of charge. It's going to figure out what technology it is. In this case, the construction is AGM. It's also going to figure out the size of the battery because you have some smaller 12 volt batteries which have less capacity and you have larger ones. So it's going to analyze that, figure it out, and then start to distribute just the right amount of power that it needs to bring it up to a level where I can safely start the vehicle. That process is going to take 15 minutes. So we're gonna connect it, let it analyze the battery, do its thing for 15 minutes, and then we should have a ready to start vehicle. So we'll just take our tangle free charge clamps. I really like these because they don't tangle up and get stuck in each other just the way that they're constructed. We're going to connect to the negative terminal. We're going to connect to the positive terminal. And then we're going to plug this in to the charge output. Now we'll turn it on and it's going to start doing its thing. Because the battery just needs a little bit of a top up, I don't actually have to use this feature. You can see that we don't have much time left, but we're just gonna leave it for the 15 minutes and we'll come right back. As you can see, we've started to deplete the internal battery of the CS3 itself. Now, because my battery is 
at a pretty high charge state already. This is just topping it up. If this was a flat battery, we would just leave it for the 15 minutes, walk away, come back, and it would be at a state that we could at least start the vehicle and then it could charge itself. Did I mention that the internal battery stays charged for up to one year? And don't forget, because I'm using this indoors with access to power, I can plug in the USB-C charger right into the side here. And now it becomes a regular smart charger and battery maintainer. But we're not done yet. I'm gonna show you a few more features that continue to set this apart from anything else on the market. So first, we cannot get our polarity wrong. Well, I've connected this wrong on purpose and all that's going to happen is you'll get these error LEDs telling you you did it wrong. Being a smart charger, it'll also know if you have a defective battery and it won't allow the charge to continue. So I mentioned it'll hold a charge for up to a year. Well, you've got to get that charge from somewhere. So you could use the included adapter with the USB-C cable, or you could get the optional clamps with the USB-C connection, and you can use a donor battery, because maybe you don't have access to power and you need to fill this up so you have it ready to go. So right now we are charging it just using the clamps. I could also use the battery in my vehicle to give this a bit of a boost so it's carrying a charge. Or we could get the optional 12 volt adapter, plug it into the USB-C port and charge it in the comfort of our vehicle while we're driving. And lastly, but I don't have one with me, you can charge this in one hour with a fold out solar panel that's also available. So maybe you're off grid and you need to charge this up to be able to charge all your devices. You can use the solar panel to achieve that. SeaTac's really thought of everything. They got a carry case that fits everything that you need with you in one handy convenient bag. And then we also have the wall mount I talked about earlier. All these accessories are available as add-ons at smartercharger.com where you can also pick up any SeaTac device that meets your needs. Well, this brings us to an end of my SeaTac CS3 review. I hope I taught you a couple things. If you wanna pick yourself up one, go to smartercharger.com. But I love my SeaTac products. They've really thought of everything and they filled all the needs when it comes to battery maintenance for my lifestyle. But if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.